Artem, we took a look around. The main gate is guarded by a skeleton crew. You cannot go through gate. Go through the prison cellar where the Munai Bailer keep the slaves. Uh, <laughs> yes. In any case, the plan is this. Gul and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them, while you get in through the underground. Let's go. We'll walk with you. Don't lag behind. I have a favor to ask. If possible, don't kill the slaves. They're not... They just obey the Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. Gul is right about the locals. Here. This place. They're just kids, and all have been under brainwashing for ages. So we probably should take pity on them. So, a great? Well, let's do this. All right, I'll raise it and you get through. Shit is heavy! Great! See you up there! Let's go, Damir. Bless blood, Artyom. Please. No use. Nobody go, nobody fool. We stand here, all day here. You stop. Better go home, find some food, make sweat, more you step. You said right, completely. Very right.
I was worried for nothing. I have good news. Look, the tank is full. Just what we need. Uh, there is also bad news. The gate is locked and we can't take it out. Colonel, sir, Tamir here. We have secured the tank, but encountered a, a problem with the gate. Copy that. We're going with plan B, then. Act accordingly. See, the cable connects the gate and the top of the tower. How do we get there, though? Oh, it looks like a veritable fortress. Gentlemen, surely you're not seriously intending to attack our fortress. I do respect your courage, but simply throwing your lives away is such a waste. Who is in charge between you two? Come up here. We have things to discuss. Just you listen to that bastard talk. A complete abomination. <laughs> and we just threw a wretched into his plan. <laughs> Put the gun down and come up. Otherwise, we'll have a pointless bloodbath on our hands. Open the gate and let our guests in! Come on! We won't even touch you! Unless you really ask for it. Mm, I don't like this, but there is no other way. If we don't get out of this desert, we we're as good as dead. Good luck, Artyom. If the deal goes south, I'll... Well, I'll do what you can. say? If I fucking hear one more no, word about that bitch, too many kill. of them to count. Get over here. Slaves. Go around them stinkers and just get to the next floor. Baron's quarters are probably at the top. The uh, boss hates stench. Don't you fucking catch it from them. Come on, why the fuck does it take so long? You could do it with your eyes closed. I know that. Will you stop bugging me? Ha! You must be one of the train gang. Just you take a fucking look at the beauty Vint is making for the boss. It's not just any old sort of wheels, I tell you. Of course, we only get to look at it. You just take a detour? See, there's some apes doing their stuff here. Let the animals evolve. They need it. <laughs> well, you just fucking pull it. Put your back into it. Why the fuck did we feed you yesterday? Before you set us all on fire! That one sure got fired over his stupidity! Fuck me, are they dumb? Third one is weak, the brain dead bastards. What the fuck am I going to tell Castle now? I ran out of your tribals, give me some more? The fucking dumbasses, now I have to do an all nighter, dumb bitches. I'm your slave, was not on purpose! Shut up! I'll teach you how to serve now! I'm sorry, Master! Don't teach, please! Shut the fuck up! I run you from Baldy Fat! No kill, Master Misa! No kill, please! Master angry, but still Master! If Master dies, they kill me next! Mirza saved me! Master wakes up or remember what was. Thank you, Mirza. Oh, why do I? Look, you go up the bladder. Why Master not make me warrior? I don't care. He was glorious. I work here. Come on. What's taking so long? Already. Yes, you fucking look at that. The whore drank master's water. 
gonna give her a lesson. Forgive now. me, Uli Mirza. I You're a dog! Shut the fuck up! Ah, my master is so sweet. Ah. At least here you don't beat me. Ah. For the master! Do Are you up? I see the What's enemy! Very stupid! Kill them!
Look at the carnage. You went all out here, didn't you? Giving. Let's give it a shot, Artyom! So, you wanted In to create a new world up. with this? Not happening! You're misguided at time! <laughs> <laughs> My people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Uh, let's go, Artyom. Thank you for helping my people. I'm in your debt forever. <laughs> You're back, my love. I was so worried. Fanatics on the banks of Volca. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or... Perhaps were they always there, and the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves and now we're stuck with them forever. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We are getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, 
would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much, but I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after Mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone. Took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over Mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going. Not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, but what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go, and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. I'll rest some more and join you later. Come in. 
Please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. All right, people. 
I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, and much deliberation, we found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations, everyone. Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 Yet, this is not our last order of business for today. Stepan, Katya. Oh, rings. Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold better you from this day for forward. Worse. For better or for worse. For richer, <coughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish to and until to cherish death was part. To us part. part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and go Gorka! 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 dragged me away. <laughs> that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said I How could you long. believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand. So that might be the reason. Katya, Arthur, a few words. Fine now. I don't know about this. The old man is furious. So, son, care to tell me what do we do please. now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, long. I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start. Had it my been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna coughed out some blood. Oh, God. Do you really think it's the sand? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, 
Respect your opinion. For Rena's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If our estate worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer. Go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell I and the people to calm down. Getting worse. There's a drug Katya told us about, so we can go and find it for you if it is needed. Hmm. That sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to see this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on. You didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantau. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right, a toast to you guys. Just be happy together. Great! Oh, yeah! Stefan, will you play that song? About Nectar of the gods. Easy as pie. Чтобы было куда вернуться, время вернуться домой. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. А кругом горят факелы, это сбор всех погибших частей. И люди, стрелявшие в наших отцов, строят планы на наших детей. Нас рожали под звуки марши, нас пугали тюрьмой. Но хватит ползать на брюхи, мы уже возвратились домой. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе.
This is definitely about us. There's even a kernel in it. Yes, it is time we took this land back. And one more thing. We don't want surprises like the ones we had on the Volga or in Yemen now. So we're sending a scouting party ahead on a rail car. Artyom needs a volunteer to support him. Me! Pick me! I'll check the hell out of that valley, please! <laughs> Something makes me think that Alyosha is mainly going to check if there are any Amazons or women in general there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all set. Frankly, I envy you, Stepan. You got a full family, a wife and child at once. And you don't have to worry about diapers or belly aches. Envy is a bad thing. <laughs> we're not the ones to avoid diapers, Colonel. In fact, we're planning to visit Nastya with a little brother, if she doesn't object. I'd rather get a sister. We could play with dolls together. I could care for her. You could play Sparta in special operations with the brother. Ah, cut it out, Stepan. God knows we've had enough of operations. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'd like to retire. Time to have some life. You can't retire yet. You're too young. <laughs> I am old, Nastya. You're not. <sighs> You said envy was a bad thing, Nastya. Hmm? But what am I to do? Your mom has you, but my Anna doesn't have a smart curl like you. Dad! Don't dad me! A 20-year-old won't even think about children. But I would sure like to see grandchildren at my age. Yeah, you teach them CQC. Dual-wielding pistols. <laughs> <laughs> I could come visit you. <laughs> of course, you're welcome, Nastya. The thing is, Grandpa Miller won't give up until he has grandchildren of his own. Hear that, Artyom? I don't even know what else to say. She's beautiful, sporty. Yeah, I'm Olympic level with a rifle. I get not having kids in metal. Darkness, TB, rats, mutations. But what about here? <laughs> right, Dad. We'll get to work on solving your problem tonight. At that note, how about a drink? The repopulation of Earth. Two kids. <laughs> yes, to children. To children. To children. This is good. To the new colony! To the new colony! <sighs> Just like water. Into having more women joining! <laughs> Alyosha, I never doubted you. Yes, Alyosha. I don't think you should be worried about that. If we are successful, there will be people joining us. Honest, good people. I'm sure they survive too. Well, if any bad people decide to show up, they'll be sorry they did. <laughs> oh, definitely. When we're done with the bad apples here, we might think of something to do about Moscow. That's true. To love! To love! Damn. This is great. Nectar of the gods. It's your turn, Artyom. Come on, impress us. This heat is just unbearable, I must say.
beautiful song. Stepan, play some more. Stepan, could you give us that one? My Boris shit. My pleasure. Полковник Васин приехал на фронт со своей молодой женой. Полковник Васин созвал свой полк и сказал им, пойдем домой. Мы ведем войну уже 70 лет, нас учили, что жизнь — это бой. Но по новым данным разведки мы воевали сами с собой. Я видел генералов, они пьют и едят нашу смерть. И дети сходят с ума от того, что им нечего больше хотеть. А земля лежит в ржавчине, церкви смешались с золой. И если мы хотим, чтобы было куда вернуться, время вернуться домой. Этот поезд в огне, и да мне на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и на мне куда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. А кругом горят факелы, это сбор всех погибших частей. И люди, стрелявшие в наших отцов, строят планы на наших детей. Нас рожали по звуки марши, нас пугали тюрьмой. Но хватит ползать на брюхе, мы уже возвратились домой. Этот поезд в огне, и на мне на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и на мне куда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. Этот поезд в огне, и на мне на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и на мне куда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. Could you play some more, Stepan?
Artyom, I, I wanted to tell you for some time, but hadn't had a chance. Anna asked if I wanted to stay back then. Oh, sure I did. They were my people, even though I couldn't find any relatives. Besides, there are still lots of bandits to kill them. But the Baron is dead. Now Gil can lead the people. They know those animals can be beaten. Cannon must be beaten. And now they have to fight for their freedom and take it by their own hand. So that not to give it up ever again, despite any odds. Still, the initial push was given by us. By you. I won't forget this, Artyom. And I hope to one day pay this debt back. Kaprakmet, brother. Sure gave us all his care. Oh, but don't you worry. It does look like tuberculosis, but Katya is a real medic. She, well, she'll put her back on the feet in no time at all. Oh, besides, there's finally something nice ahead. A river, a forest, even a hydroelectric dam. <laughs> that sounds interesting, but I haven't fixed one yet. So don't worry, Artyomich. Everything will be fine. Soon we'll have a chance at normal lives at that valley, you know? Are you and Anna gonna have kids? Artyom, it's about time, Bratucha! Moscow doesn't sound right for those with radiation and all, but the valley... Oh, that's the place. And Stupan and Katya would follow suit, too, since they're married. <laughs> we do have to populate the colony, you know. We'll build a good one, too, with some skilled people and, most importantly, smart people. And we should attract more. And if some assholes decide to crash the party, ho, 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 we'll send them packing in no time with our guys. I can't say I've ever been religious, but right now I'm begging all gods, please, watch over Anna and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there, though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. 